I was inspired to go into STEM really by my middle sister. I'm the youngest of three uh, daughters and we all kind of followed in each other's footsteps. So I really would talk with her. I would, you know, go through her books, her textbooks, and just really kind of understand what she was doing. And she was really my role model the whole way, the whole way through. Being a woman in STEM at Noblis has been an excellent experience. Um, there, so many it's brilliant women here and you know, I've been fortunate uh, the type of work that I do at Noblis that I've been able to work across pretty much all of the divisions and mission areas and just work with so many people from different backgrounds. I would say to women in STEM that never give up if this is what your heart and your head is calling you to. Uh, I remember a friend of mine who was an English professor. I was working on my dissertation. I had children and I wanted to stop because it was too much. And she told me, time will pass no matter what. And as time passes, you can either be working towards accomplishing your goal or you'll be thinking later on, what if I had stayed the course? And so I took that to heart and continued on. It took a long time and it was hard, but it was well worth it. And, and it just opened up so many doors, so many opportunities by pursuing STEM.